just who and what lies behind this Roman-style portrait embedded in an 1800-year-old mummy. Even though the face looks older, the ancient linen-wrapped remains are believed to be of a young girl, probably about five years old, unearthed in Egypt in 1911. The skeleton is very intact. We don't see any obvious deformities. Uh, and what we're doing is now looking for the nanosignature in the bones to see if there's anything unusual. The Hibbert mummy has become what the Argonne National Laboratory says is the first to be subjected to high energy penetrating X-ray beams from the advanced photon source synchrotron. The kilometer round machine, which is used in medical research, allows for the study of molecules and atoms. It's like we have a laser pointer beam of x-rays and we're moving the mummy across from side to side and up and down. We will go to specific positions within the mummy, shine the x-ray beam through and then we will look at the scattering that comes off. In preparation for the experiment, scientists had the Hibbard mummy put through a series of CT scans, refining what areas of the body to examine. During 15 hours of study Monday, scientists delved into the mummy's molecular composition. We're hoping to find um, information about the bone structure, the nanostructure of the material. We're hoping to find clues as to how the Egyptians of that era preserved the body. While hoping to confirm suspicions that the young girl died of disease, researcher Stuart Stock also wants to determine if using this type of x-ray will be key to investigating other mummies. Stock says preliminary results have isolated some materials found inside the remains. Block Museum of Art curator Essie Ronco first saw this mummy in a Northwestern University library while researching an upcoming exhibit of the rare Roman-styled mummy portraits. That opened up an unusual opportunity to study the ancient artifact. So we have students uh, from archaeology, from history, from uh, material sciences uh, and computer science working on this mummy um, and approaching it from different perspectives and using their tools uh, to, to ask questions of this, this mummy uh, and interpret it for the general audience. Student research on the Hibbard mummy, along with results from the X-ray experiments, will be included in the Block Museum of Arts January exhibit. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.